Do you know how many dogs are euthanized every year in Texas? Take a guess. Hi, my name is Harper Edmondson. I'm a sixth grader at Frank Hill Middle School. To answer my question about 5,500 dogs are euthanized every day. So that equals about 1.2 million dogs a year, and that's just in Texas. Today, I'd like to share some information about how to decrease the population of dogs that are euthanized. I am part of a rescue group called Hearts and Tells of Hope. My family and I have fostered dogs for them. I have seen firsthand how dogs change once they are treated with kindness, care, and love. A big part of a rescue group is the fosters. What are fosters, you ask? Fosters are the people who take care of the dogs until they get adopted. We bathe them, play with them, feed them, teach them, care for them, and love them. They pretty much become part of our family. I would like to share about my dog, Sunny. Sunny is a sweet, loving, cute dog. He and his friend were pulled from a pound two years ago. They are both skinny and scared. We foster them both while they had other shots and got neutered at the vet. After several weeks, they were both adopted. I was so happy. But sadly, about a year and a half later, Sonny came back. The people who had adopted him had just left him on the street and did not want him anymore. The animal control found him first and took him to the city pound. Then the rescue came, then my mom at the rescue and got Sonny. Poor Sonny, he had fleas and I could see his ribs and he was very scared. Once at her home, he slowly began to grow healthier and cuter every day. He wags his tail now and is our family dog and will never, ever be on the street again. The rescue tries so hard to save all the dogs they can. The rescue has to have a foster who is available to care for a dog. Most rescue dogs have a past. Both kind, care, love, they can all be saved. They are mostly just scared and want a good family. God gave us dogs because he knew need guarding angels we could have. Here is a positive story about a pit bull that the rescue saved. Oliver was big, wild, and full of energy puppy. No one wanted to adopt him due to his size, breed, and behavior. The rescue spent money trying to make Oliver more adoptable. They are about to give up on him, but Faith stepped in. A police officer saw that he had a special drive. He also put in the time and patience to train him. He's now called Badger. He lives with his owner and partner as a police detection dog. Rescue groups are the best place to get a puppy or dog. The foster family can test drive the dog for you. They can tell you if like kids or cats or other dogs and if they bark a whole lot. The rescue pays for all the shots and to have the dogs neutered or spayed. Getting your dogs neutered or spayed is so important because it decreases the number of unwanted dogs. If the rescue takes in a pregnant dog, now they must find homes for a mother dog and several puppies. It makes a big impact on the rescue's money and ability to care for many more dogs in the future. In 2019, Hearts and Tales of Hope was able to rescue and adopt out 130 dogs. They are, they are also able to rescue and adopt out 120 cats. You do not have to foster, but here are some ideas that help rescue groups. Rescue groups appreciate donations of money, dog food, leashes, and toys. The rescue has weekly events to raise money and advertise the dogs available for adoption. They are held at local pet stores. The rescue has a Facebook page where you can fill out adoption applications, and foster applications. If you decide to adopt, the fees range from $150 for older dogs and $250 for puppies. It may seem like a lot, but the money goes into saving another dog's life. Now I'd like to share some quotes. Kinky Freeman once said, money can buy you a fine dog, but only love can make him wag his tail. Karen Davison once said, saving one dog will not change the world. But surely for the one dog, the world will change forever. Spain and neutering your dog. Fostering from Hearts and Tales of Hope Pet Rescue and adopting from a local shelter or rescue group are all great ways to reduce the number of dogs euthanized in Texas 
and be a lifesaver. Thank you for watching.